it. And yes, I know there are still many obstacles, but it is up to us, us in this room now, to try to overcome them. And it is doable. I base my confidence on the daily contact with ministers representing every group and every continent. And I appreciate very much the trust and overwhelming support ministers and governments have granted to me, to the Secretariat and to the Chairs. And make no mistake, Denmark is committed to maximum progress in the two tracks, the Convention track and the Kyoto Protocol, and to ensure a successful and ambitious outcome. Let's get it done. The solutions have never been more abundant. Political will has never been stronger. And let me warn you, political will will never be stronger. This is our chance. If we miss this one, it could take years before we get a new and better one, if we ever did. Actually, the truth is that the Copenhagen deadline already works. In recent weeks and months, many developed countries have announced economy-wide emissions reductions. And many developing economies have indicated ambitious national actions as their contributions to the global effort. China, Brazil, Mexico, South Korea, Singapore, Indonesia, a few days ago India, and last night South Africa, just to mention a few. Every positive announcement will improve our chances of staying below the 2 degrees Celsius target. But as we all know, only too well, we are not there yet. And this goes for financing as well. And maybe finance is an even bigger challenge. We have seen some positive dynamics and structure and amounts. But in the next two weeks, we need to work really hard and find both public and private money. Especially, we need money you can count on in the longer term. It is crucial that we ensure a new, additional and predictable financial flow for mitigation, adaptation, technology and capacity building in developing countries. Dear negotiators, this year you have had weeks of extra negotiating time. Since June, you have worked with a negotiation text. Preparations have been unparalleled. And I take it that your family and your friends expect you to be less busy next year than this year. But if so, that means we must get it done now. Your ability to make progress this first week is a precondition for the success of all of us next week. Therefore, compromise, agree, find concrete solutions. Use every skill available to pave the way for ministers and leaders to finalize the deal. We conclude COP15 when our leaders join us. And leaders have made it very clear they expect to adopt a global agreement 11 days from now that includes the results of your work under both the LCA and the KP. That provides the most powerful push and the strongest incentive to conclude your work. Finally, to those that may still hold back ambition, fearing that economists will <laughs> suffer, no, we don't have to choose between economic growth or climate conservation. A global deal will drive job creation. A global deal will drive competitive advantage. A global deal will drive energy security. So ladies and gentlemen, let's get it done. The time has come to set the right course for our world while we still can. The agreement we adopt in Copenhagen must be comprehensive. It must deliver on all major questions across the building blocks. It must launch immediate action. And it must capture all the progress in the UNFCCC optimum.
now. Let us, on December 18th, look each other straight into the eyes and take satisfaction in the fact that we all gave our very best to the defining gathering of a generation. Let Copenhagen be remembered for the spirit of seed, constructiveness and cooperation leading to commitment and consensus. Let's mark this meeting in history. Let's open the door to the low carbon age. Let's get it done. And let it get done now. Thank you.